I, um, many people would wonder, not only across Europe but also in this country, that given the kind of image problem Islam had across Europe, what compelled you towards Islam? <laughs> Good question. Um, I had the same image initially of Islam. That you had the same image? That everybody else has because I only knew about Islam from the media which wasn't very positive and uh, it wasn't very much. So when I was introduced to Islam by somebody who was just in the process of finding his faith, um, not a long bearded mullah but actually a handsome sports star, Imran Khan at the time who had just won the World Cup for Pakistan but it had completely passed me by because I'm German, I don't know, we don't have cricket in Germany. Germany. So anyway, I was introduced to Islam through him. He sh gave me books to read, you know, and I met a lot of Muslims. And in a nutshell, I was captivated intellectually by the message, by the clear doctrines. Um, I loved the culture, you know, the Sufi music. You said something very interesting. You said you met someone who was himself in the process of discovering his faith. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, at the time he was reading and studying Islam. This is 1992. Yeah, 1992 he was studying Islam intensely. He was uh, buying a lot of books on Islam and shared them, you know, with me and with his other friends. And, um, and I was always interested in philosophy. I had an interest in, in ethics and spirituality. So, you know, I was captivated. I, I just started devouring these books. And... I realized very quickly this is true, you know, there's the truth here. Uh, thinking, you know, Imran introduced you to Kabbali, to Sufism. As well, yeah. So it was really the, the Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan, uh, him translating the lyrics that uh, touched me more deeply than any pop song on MTV. And it was the Sufi music that opened my heart to the culture and religion of Islam. The reading came later. I was also touched by the Pakistanis I met, you know, by the people, his friends and um, uh, the volunteers who helped to build this cancer hospital in Lahore, you know, where the poor, pa uh, poor, poor people would be treated for free. I was very touched by this effort, you know, how he managed to raise all these funds with an army of volunteers around the world who all wanted to be part of this project hmm. for no ulterior but motive, just to serve when God. Talking, we, 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 when, we, when, when we talk about Imran Khan, um, inspiring you towards Sufism and Kabbali and Islam, Islam and Islam. books and reading. <clears throat> when you hear his critics, especially the feminists and the liberals in Pakistan, they think that Imran is naive, has no substance, he's not deep enough for the politics, um, he's ultra-conservative, he's an Islamist. You are presenting him as someone who is deep and substantial, looking for truth and meaning in life. Isn't this a sharp contrast to I don't know how well these feminists know him, but you know, <laughs> I, I, you know, I have had the pleasure, you could say, or the fortune of having, um, you know, acquainted him as a friend for a number of years in London when he was still there, and that is what my experience was. You, you know, he, he was had, a seeker of the truth. So you think that Imran had a deeper sight to his personality, a philosophical sight to his personality? Absolutely, of course. I was reading, you know, we were reading books, uh, was so many books, debating, you know. And he did basically dawa on me for three years, you know, telling me every single detail about Islam, and position of women, this, that, you know, the afterlife, asking profound questions, you know, what is the purpose of life? I was an MTV presenter when I met him, you know, mm. I was uh, interviewing rock stars for a living, mm. hosting massive music shows, you know, I lived a life very far from religion. But suddenly being uh, challenged with these very profound questions, you know, why are we here on earth? Where are we going? Purpose Where do we come life. from? Purpose of life. I hadn't had time to think about such things.